Meanwhile, Thanksgiving, just 10 days away. When it comes to travel, it's going to be a busy one. AAA is now saying it expects nearly 80 million people will be heading out by planes, trains, and automobiles. So <laughs> what do you need to know to make the trip as smooth as possible? Let's get planning with NBC senior Hi. business correspondent mm -hmm. Christine Romans. Good morning. 80 million yeah. sounds like a lot. How does that compare to record. past years? It's a record. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. people now are going to 80 million people on the move, Americans on the move. That's just remarkable. These will be record-breaking numbers, and they're taking the train. They're flying. Look at those numbers. And when you see how much it's growing from last year, even more than last year, records all around. Cruises, by the way, huge. Look at that number. Buses, trains, cruises up 18 percent versus 2019. Cruises are basically booked solid. People mm. want to get out there. And gas prices will be lower this year. We're, I think we're going to see $3 a gallon national average by Thanksgiving. Uh, overnight, it was about three oh seven. Well, parents are already having nightmares because they can hear their kids in the back seat going, when are we going to get there? How much longer? As a new minivan owner, I feel I know, it. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> but when are the best times to hit the road? So, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, experts say is going to be really the busiest. And because of hybrid work, we've really stretched out this holiday week to be more like Monday Monday to Monday or Tuesday to Monday. So the worst time to drive is Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon before Thanksgiving. The best time to drive is actually Thanksgiving Day. And if you're coming back, uh, come back on the Sunday either very early or wait until the Tuesday after Thanksgiving if you can because there will be 80 million people on the move for the holiday. Pretty remarkable there. So it'll be busy out there on the roads and in the airports and in the train stations and on the cruises. Yeah. What, Spirit Airlines just declared bankruptcy. Yeah. What if you're holding a ticket from, from Spirit? So the company says it's going to operate during bankruptcy and you can go ahead and use your loyalty points, use your tickets, you can purchase a ticket. They hope to exit bankruptcy sometime in the beginning of the year, maybe the end of the first quarter, so you can still use those tickets if you have a Spirit Airways ticket for this holiday season. Christine, thank you very much. Welcome. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.